On one side, people are like, it's 100% a comet. And on the other side, people are saying, it's 100% aliens that they're coming to invade. Meanwhile, I'm like, it's an interstellar object because it has a lot of characteristics that do not match up with normal cometary behavior. It's the third ever interstellar object observed. We don't know from what sort of system it's from or how long it's been traveling deep space. It could be billions of years. And so it has a very unique makeup and energy to it that is quite a bit different than that of our solar system. So I don't think you can just put the label of comet on it. And I personally don't think it's aliens, though it provides a useful exercise to go through like well, okay, what should we do if it is aliens? And we should track this thing very closely. We shouldn't be just kicking back and relaxing. We should be very alert and active and aware as to what is happening with this. It provides a wonderful research opportunity to see what we should expect and to learn about the early origin and formation of the universe or perhaps our local interstellar cluster or more. Well, here we have data showing the evolution of 3i Atlas. And at the beginning, July 2nd, you see that top left corner, we see it's nucleus and coma.